just had a, a mild rain shower last night, but the sun's up, so let's go take a look at what's happening. The front here, we're going to, it'll be like a three-bay garage, we're going to install roll-up doors, it'll be three separate roll-up doors in between the beams here, and then a, uh, a steel entry door on the left-hand side. And on the way on the left will be a concrete staircase going up to a, to a concrete roof, you know, which we're going to use as kind of an observation deck, sun deck. We'll have, uh, we'll have water up there as well as electricity. Since yesterday, we've got some more columns poured. What you see there are the rear corner column and then another column that's going to support the staircase. The column footers that they poured yesterday look real good. I'm going to walk around the perimeter here. This is the one that I commented on yesterday that didn't have enough cover and uh, they indeed uh, you know, addressed that when they poured this one so it's got a nice inch and a half, two inches around the edges of, of the rebar there. Very nice finish. A lot, of, uh, a lot of these kind of pours end up with cavities and air pockets but it uh, looks very good. Here's another one. Looks nice. This is the opposite rear corner. Looks good. Yeah, so that this is the kind of cavities you, you might see where it wasn't completely compacted, but this is very minor. Uh, it'd be nice if it was smooth like the other ones, but this is nothing to be concerned about. I can see now, here is the, this is where the CR is going to be. They're digging some footings for the CR, the toilet. Decided we're going to have a, it'll be a full bath, and I'm going to put a urinal in here now as well. And then back around to the front is a column that this is going to contain a drain from the observation deck on the roof. The septic tank has arrived, as well as some fixtures the urinal, the toilet, the water heater. So just just a little additional background for I, I totally get it with the with the looks of the concrete block that we use here. If you're if you're from the West, or particularly the U.S., you're you're used to what we call cinder blocks. No, they're not made of cinder anymore. They're they're very high quality. And they're well defined. They're strong. Uh, they don't look nearly like this. Uh, but don't let that get you down because that's the way blocks here are made throughout the entire country. Now it is possible to order something that re more resembles uh, a western type cinder block as, as far as scale and definition of the edges and the voids and, and, and such. But they're really only available uh, through special order and they're very expensive. So. It's really uh, the price point, if you're going to be buying like 2,000 of those, it would be cost prohibited for most people. We're increasing the strength by completely filling the blocks 
with concrete where we're adding a 12 millimeter rebar horizontally every three rows and about every 24 to 30 inches we have vertical rebar coming up from the bottom of the foundation so that's how we increase the strength of these walls and in addition to that when these walls are, are finished they're going to do what they call plastering and that's when they're going to take mortar mix which would be just cement and sand and they'll put about an inch or so of uh, maybe inch and a half or so of skim coat on both sides of the wall uh, and with that you can use waterproofing if you need to but the end result is that you have a finished you know so-called plastered wall like the old the old homes in the US we used to use plaster uh, over over wood so but that's that's kind of the story behind the the, the, the concrete hollow blocks here I know when I the first time I looked at the the concrete hollow blocks here especially on video I was kind of dismayed I mean I was like wow that's really awful uh, but that's just the uh, the situation and the manufacturing methods and the cost all combined uh, to give us this kind of hollow block that we we use uh, reinforcements to get back that strength so this is this is a good day things are really moving guys are kind of paired up and working on different projects back cement mixing and drain, drain making. In between the other projects is doing a lot of backfilling, backfilling the foundation, backfilling the footers, and then we're going to wait for some dry weather uh, and do some compaction. I bought a gasoline compactor, plate compactor that we're going to bring over here. And after all the electricity and the water conduits are in, we'll, we'll add our gravel and sub base and compact everything. Over here we've got the outline of the CR. So we're back filling the CR as well. Inside here going to have a urinal, a toilet, and a on-demand hot water shower head, which is uh, kind of unique. They're imported from Germany and it uh, has an input for water and it instantly heats at variable temperature and exits right out of a, a telephone shower wand. And we we'll also have a typical spigot for a hose attachment and the day. We have our four inch drain coming down through the center of columns into the foundation and the footing. Coming out of the footing right there, the 90 the elbow. And then we're gonna come under grade here and exit the grade into the concrete box culvert here. And this is what will drain the roof deck. For the French drain, you see the large hole on the right. That is going to be a complete French drain around the entire perimeter under the slab. And it's going to also drain into the box cover. It's unfortunate that uh, the that the soil's so so wet now because it's making it really difficult. For these guys to do the backfill. Can you imagine instead of shoveling 
dry soil. They have to kind of carve out this wet clay now, scoop it up and, and move it. So uh, I feel for them. We were able to dig through some of our household goods and we came up with three shovels. So we brought them over to hopefully help out.